The next thing is about the hijab, the, the, the wearing of the, 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 uh, the, the headscarf for the w women. This seems to have become so major, uh, a major uh, um, uh, 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 aggravation. Why should women who want to wear a veil, why should this have been such a source of aggravation today? Why is that? I don't understand it. I mean, if a naked woman walked in this room here, meaning wearing a bikini or a G-string, she would have the right to just walk just like anybody else. If a woman came down here and she was wearing a G-string and walked right across here and went back upstairs and came down, matter of fact, there were two or three of them. We would be like, whoa. <laughs> What's going on here? But we couldn't say anything because it is accepted in the society for a woman to wear this in public. And there are some beaches in this country and some places in this country where you got some people call themselves naturalists. <laughs> you know what they are. I don't have to tell you. That is, they believe that they should just walk around all the time naked. <laughs> Not that we can't make a judgment call because according to legislation, the naturalists have a right there's a man that was running across the whole UK for three months. Can you imagine that? Three months with nothing but a hat and a pair of boots on. <laughs> I mean, he's running. Can you imagine a man running through a village? <laughs> nothing but a hat and a pair of boots on. Of course, he's a naturalist, and these are his constitutional rights. And for three months, nobody could say anything about it. Well, I say that in a society where people are allowed to express themselves that way, why should there be a problem about Muslim women, whether in the schools or otherwise, choosing the preference to cover their heads or to cover their bodies with loose garments? Why should there be such an uproar? Why is there the need to, 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 for the media to assault and say Muslims want to take over our society and Muslims want to impose their, their values upon us and so forth? Well, I want to remind them that until 15 or 20 years ago, the nuns in the church, in the Catholic church, they had to wear it. Is it right or wrong? And just recently, the Catholic church has relaxed the, 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 um, the uniform codes of the nuns where they can show a little cleavage. They can now wear a little bit, you know, put the cross right there in the middle. They don't have to wear a headpiece anymore and they can show a little bit of thigh. Well, that's their right. We can't say anything about that. But when I went to church when I went to church, to the Catholic church, when I was 17 years old, all the nuns were looking like the sisters are looking today. So society has changed, but why should our values have to change? Those Muslim ladies who want to wear the full scarf and want to wear loose clothing, they're doing so because God said so, not because their husband said so, not because they're Arabs or Indonesians or Malaysians or Africans, no, they're doing it because God says so. So if our religion, which is the same religion of Moses and Abraham and David and Solomon and Jesus and John the Baptist, if we have the same religion as all of those prophets and we are all monotheistic people basically, Christians and Jews and Muslims, taking our sources from the same, taking our scripture from the same sources, and we can see in the history of our religions that women dress this way consistently, then why is it an aberration because uh, our women want to wear that today? What do they want our women to do? Do they want our women to take off their head scarves and all put on G-strings? Would that be sad? Oh, would they, oh now y'all all the same, now it's okay. No, we say it's not okay. And we say, as Muslims, we have the right to preserve what we consider to be decent and dignified clothing and apparel and appearance. And we think, we think that we are fortifying. We think that we are making a good moral contribution. We think that we are doing something that will support the morals, the principles, of, and the status of women in this society. We say that's what we think we're doing. And do we have the constitutional right 
to make what we consider to be a moral contribution to the fiber of this society based upon our religion? Of course we do. And we don't have to apologize. And if somebody wants to know, if we are unable to explain, we do not have to explain. But what we should do is the people of the media, the people of the media or the people of government who feel that they don't understand what's going on, we should send them to people who are qualified to expound upon this issue in a dignified, educated way so the people would not think somehow or another that all these women who are wearing these scarves got an AK-47 underneath their scarves or they got a bomb, they coming inside somewhere with a bomb. You know, stereotypes. But the issue is, we Muslims, the Muslim ladies in particular, you do not have to explain to anybody why you are dressed the way you are dressing. Just like others who are undressed do not have to explain to anybody why they are undressed. It's a matter of choice. Unfortunately, if I'm living next door to some people who choose to be naturalists, I can't say anything. The only thing I can do is move. And if they live next door to me and my wife is dressed like that, they can't say anything. All they can do is what? Move. That's the society we're living in, where everybody has free movement. And we have to deal and be patient with each other.